Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that and I would love to know how are you doing because I sincerely hope that every one of you is healthy and safe and in this video I want to share with you a few perfumes that I really want to try but can't because of the quarantine, self-isolation and social distancing. All the shops are closed including the fragrant ones so the brands uh, are still releasing new stuff and uh, I am dying to try new things out but uh, the only option is to order online blindly and that's not really my style so I decided just to talk to my best friend Cameron and all of you guys about stuff that I really want but can't have at the moment and as my boyfriend says I only want what I can't have but I think that's normal right so with that being said if there are any perfumes on your mind that you really want maybe the new releases maybe the upcoming ones please share them with me and of course don't forget to follow me on my social media such as Instagram and Facebook we can chat there as well as in the comments and I have also a patreon page where you can support me so check out the description box and let's get started so the first one on this list is Oud Rosewood by Dior and this is uh, the new fragrance that uh, will join their exclusive um, Dior Privé collection soon and the notes in it are raspberry and uh, kinse in the top, animalic notes and sandalwood in the heart and uh, rosewood and agarwood in the base. So to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest biggest fan of this uh, collection, but uh, there are a few fragrances that I really enjoy, such as Rouge Trafalgar, um, the Amber the amber one, how is it called, like that super delicious alcohol amber, I am loving it and I'm dreaming about it and uh, Fef Delicious is also amazing and uh, there are also some floral perfumes that are lovely but to me the pricing is a little bit too high and I can't afford those perfumes but uh, that doesn't make me uh, stop uh, wanting them and uh, this one sounds uh, lovely even though it reminds me of uh, Tuscan leather judging by the notes but still I want to smell it and if uh, the shops were open I could go to the store and smell it but you know I need to wait as well as I need to wait for Gardenia and Oud Absolute by Jo Malone that looks so stunning that I'm ready to blind buy it and uh, I am so so into this presentation the bottle is fantastic notes are white floral notes uh, and gardenia musk amber and oud and i noticed that uh, fragrances from this absolute collection they are very heavy they are oudy very oriental and i'm very curious how they paired those uh, woody notes with um, delicate white flowers so once again oh my god like I'm ready to blind bind but you know it's really pricey so I shouldn't and one of the most unexpected launches that I'm really really into is Al Sahra by the different company the brand that I have no experience with and this perfume sounds just great because check these notes white violet salty notes and mineral notes in the top white lily and cinnamon in the heart and sandalwood patchouli labdanum and incense in the base and i'm just so intrigued how violet will smell next to the salty mineral notes and uh, kind of like spicy lily with uh, the smoke from the base i don't know like this uh, pyramid is really really um, mysterious to me and if you have any experience with perfumes from this line let me know and the next perfume is probably one of my most um, hardcore dream brands ever because you know all of their perfumes sound so interesting to me and I've been wanting to get them like from I don't know like since 2017 or 18 if I'm not wrong and I'm talking about uh, Oi Free perfumes and they've just launched Song of an Everlasting Sorrow and it has super cool story and beautiful floral notes, woody notes, animalic notes, um, berry notes, uh, smoky notes, like it, it, it's just like so, so um, 
complicated in its uh, structure and I like such fragrances so this is an Asian brand that I'm dying to get my hands and nose on and the final one is actually from Hobia, I don't know how to pronounce its name correctly, please sorry and please uh, teach me in the comments but uh, this one is called La Belle Saison and I'm not sure if it's gonna be boring and generic or actually super lovely because it seems like a beautiful musky white floral scent with apricot blossom, mimosa, a little of the wally, some pepper, labdanum and musky woods in the base but I just like such musky floral perfumes if they smell nicely, you know, not means stream so I would love to have this one and even though if shops were open I could smell at least a few and of course I can order samples of let's say oifery or something but they are pretty pricey so I just wanted to tell you what I'm into at the moment and if there are any new launches or just perfumes in general that you wish you could smell if uh, the situation was different please let me know that and with all of that being said thank you so much for watching this short video and uh, if you have any suggestions for the future content please request it in the comments subscribe to my channel if you're new here and ring that bell of course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and make sure to stay tuned be healthy clean your hands and we'll see each other next one really soon Bye, guys.